Hey, this is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks, and in this short video, I'm gonna be going through the Lightweight Deluxe Kayak Package. This is a package I've actually been selling quite a bit of, sort of informally. Um, it's great for people with dogs, it's great for people that are a bit heavier and need that extra rigidity and want some really good performance out of the Advanced Frame Sport Kayak from Advanced Elements. So I thought, why not make a proper package out of it and then more and more people can have access to this great product. Okay, so the, the foundation kayak of this product is the Advanced Frame Sport Kayak from Advanced Elements. Um, now this is a wonderful, wonderful kayak. It's an ingenious design of lightweightness. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a word, I know. They've made a kayak that is exceptionally lightweight, but also performs really well. So sometimes there's a compromise when a kayak gets too light. It either loses durability or it loses rigidity and performance. The Advanced Room Sport really hits that sweet spot where you get a beautifully performing kayak that's really comfortable, quick and easy to set up, um, but also only weighs, you know, 11 and a half kilograms. So why is it so good? So it is still a fairly short fat kayak and normally with short fat kayaks when you take a stroke they turn. It's called yaw. I call it waggle and it's dreadfully annoying. The Sport doesn't do that. The Sport tracks fairly straight and the reason is inside this shell there's actually aluminium ribs in the bow and in the stern. Now you don't see these, you don't touch these, you don't install them. They're just there. The kayak still folds up and packs away into a bag. But what these ribs do is they give you this really um, stiff vertical bow and stiff vertical stern. Now that cuts through the chop um, it cuts through the water beautifully, basically meaning that you, you track nicely and you're more streamlined through the water, more water dynamic, shall we say. And then the one at the back acts like a bit of a skeg, draws the water behind. So you're sort of peeling through the water in a really elegant fashion. But also that vertical uh, bound stern, it stops that yaw, okay? It re really brings that waggle right down. Um, the hull is beautifully smooth as well. It's a wonderfully designed kayak. It's got a fin underneath that you don't have to install. Like I said, it, it's just there. Um, so it's a beautiful kayak to paddle. But what you get in this package, in the Lightweight Deluxe Kayak Package, is the drop stitch floor. So what is drop stitch? Drop stitch is basically a chamber that's stitched top to bottom all the way through. Okay, this is a cutaway picture. And what that means is you can inflate it to fairly high pressure and it maintains its shape. It stays uh, flat and rigid. This is actually what they make stand-up paddle boards out of. So there's a, a few huge benefits to this. The first one is that it increases the buoyancy of the kayak. Um, so if you wanted to really load up with gear for this kayak, you could do that. Secondly, it improves the rigidity of the kayak. So all of a sudden, you know, especially above that 90 kilogram mark, the kayak is rated to a weight capacity of about 113 or 116 kilograms. But if you are over 90 kilograms or you plus dog is over 90 kilograms, the performance does start to drop off a bit. It, it struggles to maintain rigidity. So that's where the drop stitch floor really improves performance. So it gives you that rigidity. And then the third thing it does is help you tracking. So these, um, these corners, we call them chines in kayaking language. These corners basically help the kayak go straight. So it really becomes an even faster and even straighter kayak, okay? It becomes a performance machine. Now, the beautiful thing about the Sport is the wide open cockpit. It's one of the ways they've got the weight down. They've got the weight down by having only one main chamber in the inner tube and by having this wide open cockpit. Now, that means it's not classed for open water, but for recreational use, it's fantastic. This wide open cockpit is a really popular feature, basically because it's easy to get in and out of. Anyone that's ever climbed in and out of a cockpit of a kayak will appreciate this. You can seriously just kind of flop yourself into this kayak. So anyone that's really tall or you know has their compromised flexibility finds this kayak really, really delightfully easy to get in and out of. That seat, by the way, that high back seat is really comfortable to sit in. You've also, as well as that high back seat supporting your back, you've got a foot brace. Now the foot brace wedges in the front here of the inner tube, the rounded end, and it gives you this flat surface to brace your feet against. Why do we bother with that? Well, basically it does a couple of things. It allows you to sit further forwards, like with your with your torso angled forwards to get a proper vertical uh, paddling technique. Now that vertical paddling technique isn't just um, to make you go faster. It also allows you to engage your whole body and engages your whole core in the act of kayaking. So you get a better workout and a more rounded all body workout, if that makes sense. 
but it also supports your back. I don't understand. I'm not a physio, I'm sorry. I don't understand the dynamics of how it supports your back, but having your feet braced against something just takes the pressure off the lower back especially. So a lot of people find this a great addition to their advanced room sport kayak. Now, as I said, sometimes when we go lightweight with a kayak, we compromise on durability, and that is not the case with the Advanced Frame Sport Kayak. It still has the patented multi-layer construction that we see with the Advanced Frame design. So what that means is you have an inner tube, you then have a cover on the inner tube, okay, a ripstop, um, high density polyester cover. You then have a shell, which is the uh, yellow and blue bit. This is this is a slightly different image from the advanced frame. Uh, the yellow and blue bit and the gray hull. Okay, so you have three layers of uh, material between the outside and your air. Not only that, that gray hull itself is a triple layer material. It's called PVC tarpaulin. It's a layer of heavy duty ripstop uh, polyester with PVC either side. So the PVC doesn't sort of just stretch like it does in pool toys, okay? This is a really, really durable kayak. Um, we never have any problems with it. It's, it's one of our most reliable kayaks, but still performs well, and yet they've managed to keep it under 12 kilograms. Okay, so what are some of the details? Well, first of all, the capacity is rated at 113, but that does not include the drop stitch floor. As I said to you, that drop stitch floor holds a lot of air, it gives you a lot of buoyancy, and it really ups the capacity on this kayak. So if it's you plus dog plus a punch of camping gear, <laughs> and let's say you're you know, a reasonably heavy person yourself, you've got the capacity to do that with the lightweight deluxe kayak package. But the kayak itself is under 12 kilograms, okay? The Advanced Ram Sport's about 11 and a half. The drop stitch floor actually goes into the kayak instead of the regular floor, and it doesn't weigh a whole lot more, if any. So you're still looking at about 12 kilograms. And the folded and packed dimensions are pretty small. 76 by 43 by 20, it's about the size of a small suitcase, a small to medium sized suitcase. So if you've got space constraints or you want to travel or you simply don't want to lift something heavy, which let's be honest, is not great fun. Uh, this is a wonderful kayak, okay? That lightweightness, I, I keep saying that, I know it's not a word, but I wish it was. The fact that this kayak is so tremendously lightweight is what makes it really appealing. It basically opens up kayaking to people that otherwise would never go for, you know, a 20 kilogram plus kayak including myself now what does the setup look like well i've sped this up but basically it's really simple you take the kayak out you unfold it you inflate that one main chamber you then inflate the floor now that's going to take a little bit longer than in this video because the drop stitch floor holds more air you can inflate these little deck lifts if you want to and then you insert the bow and stern separators clip in the seat and you're done it is seriously that simple, okay? So I sell this kayak a lot to people that do not want a complicated and time-consuming setup. The setup of the Advanced Range Sport with the regular floors, four minutes and 10 seconds. With the drop stitch floor, you probably want to allow about five minutes because there's a bit more air in that floor. So I, as I said, I've been selling this package quite a lot sort of informally to people. Uh, this is Julie. The kayaks are even better than we expected. They're stable and track well, even in strong winds or swell. Uh, that, as you can see by the... Uh, by the recognizable ferry is Sydney Harbour. Um, we chose these kayaks because they're so light, you know, 12 kilograms. And as I'm much heavier than my partner and wanted to take a dog with me at times, I also purchased the drop stitch floor. So that's something that the drop stitch floor is really good for. If you want to take a dog or go fishing, that drop stitch floor is ruggedly durable. Okay, the Advanced Frame Sport Kayak itself is no problem in terms of durability, but that floor just gives you that extra bit of durability on the inside of the kayak so you don't have to worry about claws and hooks and whatnot. Uh, I have no hesitation in recommending these kayaks to anyone who is looking for a lighter kayak. In our opinion, it performs like the best of the hard shell kayaks we have used. Okay, so that's pretty glowing recommendation. Uh, and it is truly that good and it is truly that popular. So I'm really pleased to be able to share this lightweight deluxe kayak package with you. If you have any questions about the kayak or about the package, please don't hesitate to get in touch. This is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks.